Hi Libra and welcome. This is a reading for what the month of August has in store for you. If it's your birthday this month, then I wish you a wonderful birthday. Have a great time. Have a wonderful year and may all the blessings be upon you. So the first card that has come up is the Nine of Wands. This talks about energy, about motivation, about passion. It's a card of fruition, attainment and fulfillment. As you can see here with the Nine of Wands, you have a person that is standing in front of, of Eight Wands. He's overcome a lot of problems and issues. Um, he's obviously wounded. You can see here by the head bandage. But he's standing tall and he's standing firm. So you might have had have been gone through a time where you had a lot of problems, um, whether that be at work or in your personal life. This could be something that you had a work situation where you had problems with your co-workers or with your boss, that a project didn't um, didn't come up though in the way you wanted it. So. Don't get suppressed, don't get undermined. You, The major obstacles that you have faced are behind you. You are standing tall, you, are, you can defend and argue your position. You have all the, you have, you have shown that you've overcome all these things so far. Um, and you have the final, you have the final wand in your hand and you're upright, which means that you are that you have come, you, you might be a little bit battered and bruised, but at the end of the day, um, it's a card that shows that you have overcome a lot of battles, that you might have felt emotionally down, that you are in a position where you're just facing the final battle before you come to success, before your plans, your goals come to fruition. So in a love relationship, this could mean that you've had problems with your partner, that things have not been going too well. So it means don't give up. You are, you, you might be hurt through this relationship, but it's not over. So, you know, just keep on pursuing what you wanted to pursue and things will, things will be okay. You're on the right path, things will be okay. Even though you're hurt, you can stand up, take a little rest, but battle on. This is this is the final battle before everything is gonna become smoother. Your path is gonna become smoother. So the nine of wands is also it shows that in the face of adversity, you are you might be at the edge of exhaust uh, exhaustions, but you are ready to go to the to the finishing line. So you're making progress. Um, you might suffer another setback, but you will overcome this obstacle. You're getting stronger. Don't see this as a negative card. It encourages you to keep pushing on, keep pursuing of what you think is right. Even if you're under attack from other people, other people might be jealous of your success, of your relationship, and they might project their insecurities or their fears on you. But don't allow it. Don't don't let them. You are a change maker and you have a vital message to share in this world. So don't don't dim your light because other people might feel insecure. On the on the other side, you have a lot of people who support you. Look for people, you know, just just focus on those that give you support that protect you from the ongoing challenges and that you're, that are on your side, that cheer you on. You have more people supporting you than opposing you. So allow them to help you. The other thing that you need to do is the eight of ones behind this, this person, they are like a boundary. So what needs to be done is you need to protect your boundaries. So far, maybe you have not asserted yourself sufficiently so get clear on what it is that you need in this success, uh, situation so that you can be successful and that you can reach your goals. And then you need to share them with others. But also make sure on the other side 
that, that you don't put up too many boundaries and too many barriers because you might shut out other people that's, that are in support of you. So bring your, your awareness of how you can proactively use those boundaries to protect your energy. Now, like I said, in a work-related um, setting, this could be a high level of tension at work that makes you feel that you have to defend yourself and your position. It's a decision-making process that is coming into question here. Be more clear, explain what you did and why. You might find that your job might be under threat or that you might have to prove yourself. When it comes to finances, it could mean that you have suffered some setback or losses. So what it means here is that you need to take a little bit more uh, of a conservative approach and make sure you keep an emergency fund so that you don't get caught up by surprise. Um, there's always things popping up unexpectedly, um, especially you know, if you, if you have, have a mortgage or you've taken a loan or your car breaks down or it could be anything. So just make sure that you have an emergency fund, that you are, that you're protected against this. Now, with the relationships, it clearly shows that you've been hurt before and that you're always worried about being hurt again. And even though you might be scarred from your past, you also have to be clear that every relationship is different. No, per, no two people are the same and people change at the same time. So just because you have experienced pain in the past, it does not mean that you will experience this pain the next time. It's a time to put hurt behind you um, and embrace a, a more open mind for, for your future relationships. Learn how to trust again and have faith that there is real love out there and there is real love out there for you as well. And um, if you're looking for love, make sure that you're not too aloof and standoffish with the people you meet. You, you want to protect yourself because you've been hurt, but also remember everything related to love is a calculated risk. And you know, need to open yourself up and fully experience the positivity of love because love has a lot to give and it's a wonderful feeling. So be open. Don't put the mistakes that a previous relationship has, has brought to you or the hurt into a new relationship. Make a clean cut and say, OK, this is now behind me. I'm moving forward. It's not easy, but I'm prepared. I'm standing, st I'm standing tall and I'm moving forward with it. It also says don't be in a defense mode. Listen to, listen to your partner, listen to others, you know, contribute. Have an open conversation about it. Don't just, you know, defend yourself all the time or try and, and rectify things. Uh, don't overcompensate. You need to listen. It's a give and take. Every relationship is a give and take. Uh, don't hold things back either. You only create distrust in a relationship. Every relationship has, has challenges. But you need to stand by your man or by your woman and commit yourself to work through things in the future. So in terms of health, it might, this card suggests that maybe you, you've had some health issues something that needed bandaging, for example, make sure that even though this illness or this, this whatever health issue you are facing has taken a toll on you, persevere. You are slowly winning this battle. So keep on. Don't give up hope. Have faith that everything is going to, going to be fine. So the second card is the Wheel of Fortune. What a wonderful card. It basically has the four building blocks of life, the four elements elements in the corner. And as you can see here now, and the wings basically present that your life is going to be balanced from now on. If you can see the wheel, it basically means the Wheel of Fortune is a card where 
everything that goes around comes around. If you had a difficult time, know that things are going to get better from here. Good luck and, and good fortune are going to return. It's when you consider the ocean and the waves, after every peak there is a trough. So when you are in the trough, you are now three quarters up the wave and you're actually coming to the, coming to the top where your luck is going to change. So things are going to return to, let's say, normal. This cycle shows you why it's so important to cherish the good times, the, the blissful moments in life. Be mindful, make the most of them whilst they're within your reach. Because everything can be gone in a split second. It's also reminding of us about karma. So basically what goes around comes around. Be kind and loving to others and they will be kind and loving to you. Same as if you're nasty and mean, you will experience the same in the future as well. So if you want happiness and abundance, just make sure you're sending these signals out into the universe as well, and the universe will, will shine it right back to you. Stay optimistic and have faith. You are safe. The universe is going to take care of your situation in the best way possible. Your life is about to turn in a more positive direction, whether it's health-wise or work-wise or in a love relationship. Just keep your mind open and, you know, try and, try and notice the synchronicities and signs that, that are coming towards you. Also, be open to, to the help of others. You know, other people might want to help you. You might not see it that you're in a situation where you need help, but just be open to it, accept it gracefully. And um, it, will, it will contribute to better luck on your side. With everything, there's always a big chance of outside factors that are out, outside of our control that influence our, our being, our current situation. Sometimes we think, oh, well, life, we get thrown, everything is get, gets thrown at us, you know, and we just, it, it can be unpredictable, it can be unnerving, it can be challenging. But this card is reminding you, it doesn't matter in which way the wheel turns, you're okay, okay? Do not try to change it, accept the current situation and simply adapt, be flexible, Everything is going to be okay. Just go with the flow. It's also a critical turning point in your life. This card tells you that there might be opportunities that you've never thought possible are going to be open to you. You have the chance to make big changes in your life. It could be totally unexpected, totally unfamiliar, but see it as a prompt to turn things around and take a new direction in life. So it could be in terms of work, it could be meaning that you could be relocate or that you have new job opportunities. Uh, it could mean that you are thinking about a career change or that an opportunity comes along your way totally out of the blue. Financially, it could suggest that you're coming into, into money unexpectedly, that you might have an inheritance or, or anything else that you might have invested into something with colleagues, friends or whoever, and you totally forgot about it. And then all of a sudden this, this will give you a, a winning streak and, and something is coming to, something good is coming towards you, a reward is coming towards you completely unexpectedly. This reminds me of somebody when, when Bitcoin, for example, first came out, I had a, an, an acquaintance who dabbled around with it just for fun. And he was collecting the free Bitcoins when they were going around. And he, for years and years, he totally forgot about it. And then all of a sudden, one day, um, when it was in the news, he thought, oh, hang on a minute, I've, I've invested, I, I have some of these, let's see how much they're worth. And he actually was lucky enough to make a fortune um, of things that he completely forgot. So this might be something that's coming into your life as well. So be open. Things will go up and things will go down, but stay open. This card basically says, accept what's happening. It's perfectly okay. It's everything is how it's meant to be. There are new opportunities 
there's things that will rise from the sub, uh, unconscious, good things, and your fortune is going to change. Especially in this in in this setting with the with the previous card, this means that you had challenges. So now it means for the wheel of fortune that these challenges you are overcoming. You're at the end of this cycle where you've had problems, where you've had difficulties. Now your luck is changing. In terms of love, be open to new experiences. Let fate take you in a new di direction. If you were in an on and off relationship, this is going to change as well. On and off relationships are exhausting. But this card is basically telling you there will be a decision made either way. And whatever decision it is, it is the best for you. So don't, you know, accept it, don't struggle. Just go with the flow and see where things take you. So let's have a look at the last card, which is the Knight of Swords. So the Knight of Fo Swords, sorry, <laughs> is a card that's go-getting. It's ambitious. It's action oriented. It is a fast thinking guy who's on his way to success. The, it's a nice card, but also it's a card that shows in combination with the three cards, don't get, don't get over excited. Don't get over ambitious. You are on a mission. You have your mind set on something. Nothing is stopping you. It's you're on your way. You know, you actively want to use your power to achieve your goal. A person sitting on a horse, showing the world, I can do this. It's a, it's a person that's highly driven, very ambitious, action orientated, highly motivated to succeed. And that nothing is going to stop them at pursuing their dreams. There are challenges and difficulties and also obstacles on the path ahead. This person is not phased by all of these things. They are moving forward with sheer strength and determination to make things happen. So it's, it's a card that shows quick action, um, not planning ahead and just diving right into the matter. It's a high level energy card that propels forward and is inspiring to take action to manifest the, goal, the goals, whatever goal he has in mind. Be assertive in getting what you want. Don't hang back and wait for something to happen. Make the first move. Actively pursue your goals. You can harness this energy in your life by being proactive and, and think forward. Don't dilly-dally around. Just go for it. See yourself as a creator of your future and you should be ready to take the necessary steps to make it happen. Now, also, this card brings a slight downside or, well, not a downside, but it's warning you against the dangers that you act too quickly, that you haven't thought things through carefully. There might be potential challenges and issues that you are unaware of that stand in your way or unintended consequences of your actions. This card suggests that you're prone to rush through things or to cut corners to get a job done. There's also a danger that you are so in, in pursuit of your goals, you know, you're so passionate right now, so, so driven, so determined, that you don't think things through properly. And that when you're close to achieving what you want, you realize that it's not really what it is that you wanted in the end. So a little planning and preparation can go a long way. So don't just take this card, especially in sequence with, with your fortune having turned around. Yes, stay positive, stay optimistic by all means, but rush forward, pursue your goals, but do plan a little bit, okay? Don't, because otherwise you might run into problems and then it will deflate, it could deflate you. So make sure that you plan a little bit ahead and that you, you understand the world, okay? That you understand the points of view. You are a great communicator and you can easily form solid arguments and opinions and important matters. 
So even though if you love to engage with others who are, who are similar to you, share your ideas and develop your new points of view, discuss things. Maybe it's a, maybe it's a time to discuss things with like-minded individuals so you can fire each other up and motivate one another. Uh, sometimes even with friends, an unintended think tank will actually show you other directions that you could pursue. Whether this is in terms of work, you are actively pursuing your goals, you're meeting your targets, you're pushing through new projects, and everything is done with, the, with a high energy and a fast pace. So you're not, you're not allowing anyone to stand in your way. You stand up to anyone who tries to go against you. Your arguments are very skillful about your point of view. And you are making sure that people are listening to what you have to say. You, this is a card, for example, for short-term projects, contract work, careers that, you, that need communication. In terms of finances, it might be that you, sh that you experience a, a fast growth of your investments or, or have other financial opportunities. It could mean that you are now prepared to invest more rapidly with a high chance of success. But be careful, you know, always leave yourself a back door open. Don't just put all your eggs in one basket and say, well, I'm on a winning streak. I'm going to invest in this. I'm going to do this. Don't do this. Still be mindful. Be careful. In terms of relationship, your relationship has a great energy. You're very ambitious. You're not afraid to walk up to someone new, introduce yourself. Um, if you're looking for love, you might be restless in finding that person, but you need to respect the other person. It could be that an attractive or appealing person is going to enter your life very soon. A person that's very charismatic, energetic, or highly intellectual. But this person could also come across as quite overbearing or assertive. This card suggests that, you know, you're keen to move on this relationship as quickly as possible. You talk about the future, even if you're not fully committed to each other. Even if you've only just met, you already talk about moving in together, meeting the parents, getting engaged or even having children. This card tells you, be mindful. Do not rush into things about, without fully understanding the consequences. Even though this is a great, exciting time, but just keep it, keep the ball flat. You're not in, in any rush. So overall, this spread basically tells you that you've had a rough time, that things have not been going too well for you, but your luck is about to change in August. Everything is, is changing for the better, but... At the same time, you're moving forward full steam, but you also need to be conscientious about the fact that you don't rush, don't, don't overlook things. Keep yourself a little bit back um, because otherwise you're prone to making mistakes. So overall, this spread is absolutely wonderful for you. And uh, it's going to be an absolutely great month. It's going to be a game changer for you, something to look forward to something that you you know your your difficult times are going to be overcome and a new era a new beginning is starting for you your luck is about to change so if you like this reading like and subscribe to my channel and we'll see you soon